Wednesday, the Friends of the Hastings Public Library began setting up for their annual book sale at the Hastings Auditorium. Board President Deb Sherrick said all the books came from donations. We're getting set up for our annual book sale that's this weekend. What we have happen is during the year we collect donated books. We get them sorted out but into about 62 different categories, boxed up and stored in the basement of the Hastings Public Library. And today what's happening is we're pulling everything out of the basement, loading it up and bringing it over here so we can get those books out on the tables and can be ready for the book sale starting Friday night at 5 o'clock. Friday night's early viewing runs through 9 p.m. and costs $5 to get in to get the first look at this year's sale. All the books are at a highly discounted rate. We have individual books that are sorted out in different categories and customers can come in and pick out whatever books they want. It is at a more of a like a bulk buying or a, a reduced price because these are donated or used, gently used or used books. Then folks can purchase as many as they would like. There is no limit. Um, on Friday night we'll have a preview sale which starts at 5 o'clock from 5 to 9 and it does cost five dollars on Friday night to come into the preview sale but after that it is free um, on Saturday and also on Sunday. On Sunday anything here at the book sale is two dollars a bag so it's as many books as you can stuff into a bag on Sunday. And then on Monday, we're starting something new. From 9 to 10 in the morning, we are going to have the auditorium open that any books that are left here from the book sale are free to anyone that wants to come and get them. So if nothing else, if they can't make it on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, if they could stop in Monday morning, every book will be free on Monday morning. Sherrick said the event could not go on without the support from the community. We've had great support from the community, not only community members that are volunteering, but also businesses that have helped um, give us different items to help with the book sales, such as trucks to move the books, um, staff to help load up those books. So it's truly a community event, and we're very proud and very happy that our community supports the library. With so many books available on electronic devices, Sherrick said someday the book sale may need to evolve and change. This has actually been the largest year we've ever had for donated books. We, um, we have more books this year than we have ever had. Um, the electronic age is a concern, um, so as we look at the book sale here on out, each year after that, we have to look at what would be the best way to handle a book sale, and, and our book sale will have to evolve and change over time to handle and be aware of the electronic world that we live in, because that is an issue that you have to look at but more and more people still want to have a book in their hand and we're hoping that families come in and get books for their kids. All the funds raised go to help put on programs at the library that is not in the library's budget. The Friends of the Hastings Public Library, our main purpose is to help supplement and to help with programming at the Hastings Public Library. We were there to help supplement things that may not be in their normal yearly budget. We also help bring in special programs, special musical groups, and then um, one of the things we have been working with is this Saturday thing, which is a program they have every Saturday at the public library where they have kids coming in and playing video games or doing video um, computer types of games. They have rubber band club, they have Lego club, they just, the summer reading program has been supported by the friends as well. We've brought in special musical groups. We're just there to kind of help out, fill in the gaps that might be there. Reporting in Hastings, I'm Zach Mayhew.